You can see we got a big old box here, and in it, there's a little bit of carnivore snacks. A lot of it. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so this one is kind of a big order to get stocked up. Uh, by the time you're viewing this, we are actually going to be an affiliate for Carnivore Snacks. Um, I am really excited to announce this. And you can see here, we got a ton of different flavors here. I'm just going to get them all uh, stacked up here. But... We're, I'm really excited to announce this because I really like how they do these. Uh, it's literally just meat and salt, and it's Redmond salt from Redmond, Utah. It's hard to beat that, so you get everything you need in a snack. And if you're trying to participate in the carnivore diet, this is something that you can that can really help you out. I mean, they got a bunch of different flavors. Uh, we're gonna look at them. Uh, right now but i'm going to be doing taste tests on all of these as i open them so it's probably not going to be today but it's going to be whatever ones we want to test out but this first one here this is the bison sliders this one we have chicken skins bison sliders again this one's one of my all-time favorites. You've already seen that video. Chicken sliders. Those are absolutely delicious. This one I'm excited about. This is flat iron steak. This was actually a free flavor for me. Then we have New York strip steak. And then beef sliders, because I had to try those out. So I'm going to pick just one, and then Hawk's going to pick one. And then those will be what we try for right now. And then, like I said, as, as I open these, I'll film videos on taste testing them. But these do not have preservatives in them. So after you open, you have to put them in the fridge or eat them within three days because the, literally the only ingredients, like on these chicken sliders, is pastured chicken, which is regenerative farming, the real way of farming. And Redmond Real Salt. That's it. So it's not something that you can just keep in the truck. I mean, if you ate it within three days, sure. But you just keep that in mind. Uh, now, the chicken sliders, I already ate the other bag. So that's gone. Um, this one I'm really excited about. Which one are you thinking you want to try? I'm not sure. You can look through them right now. Like this one right here, the bison sliders, you're talking 140 calories, 7 grams of fat. You got 19 grams of protein, 160 grams, or milligrams, sorry, of sodium, which is good. You got a, a good amount of potassium, iron, calcium, your nutrients and all that. Um, depending on what Hawk picks here, I'm going to make a pick because I, I have three flavors in my head that I really want to try badly. All right, so what we're going to do, Hawk picked... I. What do you think about the flat iron steak? The New York strip steak. No, 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 I know, but was this in your list? Yes. Yeah, that one I was really excited about. Okay, so Hawk has chosen the New York strip. We are from New York, so that just works out perfect. I'm going to go with the bison sliders because he chose the steak uh, version. We're going to go with sliders, so there's two different options. It's going to be two different ways to look. You want to open and take the first bite of these. Pull the chair on over here. Come on over. Yeah. We ain't got all day, son. Come on now. All right, so I took, took the mic off. We're going to put it right here. Hawk's going to open up the New York Strip. He'll try the first bite of that. And then he'll get the pieces out. And it's kind of it's, it's hard to open them because they are sealed well. Okay, so the bison slider, you're looking at this right here. Now the sliders are always something like this, whereas the strip steak, I'm not sure what that's going to look like. Oh, the base is like those bacon dog treats. So there you go. I was going to say, get that right up in there. You can see they've still got the fat on them and everything. Uh, so that's your difference. You're talking the sliders, kind of like a chip. Uh, seven of these, roughly, is a serving size. 
You get five ounces in every bag. What's the serving size of this? Probably two pieces. One ounce. Yes. So you get an ounce is your serving size in that. The bison's good. I still think the chicken's my favorite. See, this is a lot better than the lamb. Is that good? This is actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Hawk wasn't a fan of the lamb sliders. And uh, lamb sliders defense, none of us have ever had lamb, so I'm not really sure what it's supposed to taste like, but you want, you want to try a bait, uh, bison slider. I am for sure going to try a bite of that. Does it like fall apart in your mouth? Yeah, that's pretty good too. I like that. <laughs> oh, look at that piece. So that's like the pieces you're working with here. Okay, so it's these are meant to just be a snack that can get you by until you can cook something or something like that. So they, they should fill you up pretty decently. Man, this is really good. Mm hmm. Oh man. That tastes like a steak. Yeah, it does. <laughs> that tastes like. Mmm. That's freaking delicious. It's like just right. It's got a. You got to bite into it a little bit, but then it like falls apart in your mouth. And I do like, like you said, I, I do like that they left the fat on. I think it makes it taste a little bit better. <laughs> well, it's not as good as that, I can tell you that right now. The bison's good, but... Man. <laughs> New York strips, that's just freaking banging. That is good, good. See, it's not as good as that, but it's good. It's a lot better than the lamb. Now, like I said, there's a bunch of different options. I mean, you got New York Strip steak here. Both of us, that is that is really good. <coughs> yeah, it's not bad. No. It, it's not better than lamb. I think it was just lamb. I don't think we... I've never had lamb until then. So just to run you down on, like, the, the differences between, like, the slider in this case and then the, the steak style or the brisket or ribeye. you got to have the ribeye, by the way. I ate the whole bag in, like, a minute. So the sliders, you're talking 140 calories per ounce serving. Uh, the New York Strip's 170 calories. The New York Strip is 12 grams of fat, which it's 5 grams of saturated fat. And then you have 60 milligrams of cholesterol, 80 milligrams of sodium, 14 grams of protein, and then potassium, calcium, iron. And now the, the bison slider, you're talking 7 grams of fat, 50 milligrams of cholesterol, 160 milligrams of sodium, which I think they just have to with making the slider, and 19 grams of protein. So like I said, the <clears throat> you want another piece of that New York Strip? Not right now. Like I said, these are designed for people trying to sit, follow the carnivore diet or even uh, just trying to have a healthier snack. And it, it definitely will fill you up. I think if you had an ounce of that New York Strip, I don't think you'd need to eat for a while. I mean, and seeing that the calories are that low with how much you would get out of it, it's really nice. But if you, if you want to check these out, like I said, we are going to be an affiliate for them. Uh, I've had four flavors now, and in that box I'm going to check off almost half of what they have. And I haven't found anything, maybe the lamb, but none of us really know what lamb tastes like. So it might have been good for lamb, but we just don't eat lamb. So the bison, the chicken sliders is still my favorite as far as a protein source and a snack. This New York strip, though, is, oh, I don't know. That brisket, the brisket and ribeye was amazing, too. That's the hard part. I say we try it. 
All right, we're doing it. Screw it. Flat iron steak. This was the free for my order. We're going to open this up. This is 140 calories, 7 grams of fat, 18 grams of protein, 65 mil milligrams of cholesterol, 170 milligrams of sodium. This will be more like the... Oh, wow. This is almost... It, this looks like a jerky. So it, it, it looks more like a jerky to me. Oh, hot. Try this. Good. Dude. Yeah. It's like a jerky. Oh, it is, yeah. But it's juicy. Yeah, that's pretty good, too. That's, I gotta put this one. I'll eat this whole bag. That's delicious. Oh, Hawk's going strip steak. I don't know. It's between the strip steak and the flat iron. This is really good. But, okay, so that's three of the flavors that we got. But like I said, uh, we're going to be an affiliate forum. We will have a, a discount code, which I'll put down in the description. I'll put it in the I'll put it in the comments as well. So if you want to check these out, uh, that way you can use our code. It, that will help us. Uh, we do get a commission from that. But um, I can't I can't stress this enough. This is a really good snack. And it's going to help me make my venison last a little longer. I'm going to stay stocked on this stuff. I mean, this stuff is really good. And to be able to buy a couple bags, keep them in the fridge or at work in your lunchbox, it's just really nice. Because if, if you bring this, it can help you eat healthier. And for me, because I am interested in trying the carnivore diet, I think I am going to be starting here in a week or two. And... uh see how that goes as far as my weight or my fitness goals i should say not my weight my fitness goals if it translates to more gains uh more muscle retention fat, increased fat loss like they say uh i will keep following through on it but this is going to help me tremendously because this is something i could bring to work bring an ounce serving or two ounces and uh snack on this instead of some other bs but what I want to do to announce our uh, becoming an affiliate for Carnivore Snacks, because you guys know how we do things. We don't often accept things like that. We don't usually push to do this. But this is a little different. This is a really good product. It's, it's a lot healthier than a lot of crap out there that people eat. And for you guys that hunt, this is something that would be right down your alley, because this is done right, it's real, it's about as pure as our venison we get from when we hunt. So there's really no ingredients to it. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to make it very simple. We're going to give away a bag of your choice to three winners. So all you got to do to enter is share this video to Facebook or via text or email or whatever floats your boat. I know a lot of people hate social media. And uh, ain't holding it against you. So you can share it any way you can. Because I can see shares through emails, texts, etc. Then two, be publicly subscribed to the channel. That way when we do the drawing, which will be in the comments, uh, we will go back through and make sure that you are. And then you can pick your bag and it will ship it right to you. Three, like the video. That probably should have been step one. But we're going to make it interesting. Lastly, comment done and then say yes to meat. And then that's all you got to do to enter. And uh, we'll go until, let's see, I got to look at a calendar here. We'll run this giveaway to January 12th because I'm not sure when I'm going to drop this video yet. And I'd like to give you guys two weeks to get in at least so people don't miss out on an opportunity. So guys, if you've been curious of trying these, do the steps. Like I said, like the video, share the video, be publicly subscribed, comment done, say yes to me. By the, by the deadline, I'll go back through and see everyone who commented, and then I'll do the drawing that weekend, and I'll probably drop it that neat next week sometime. There will be updates in the comment of this video when the deadline, or when the drop date when the video announcing the winners will be. So 
it's it's kind of hard right now because we got a ton of videos coming out so i want to get this out but i want to make sure you guys get at least two weeks to get entered because i know how it gets watching a channel this time of year it's hard to keep up and i don't want you guys to miss out so do the steps three people will win as of right now maybe even more uh the a bag of their choice shipped right to their house so they can try out this product and i just all i want to know is what you thought of it but guys, as always, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. I'll put a link down below to Carnivore Snacks so you can check them out. I'll also put our code down there as well. Um, I don't know it at the time of this video, but I will know Monday. So I will put all that down there so that way you can check it out. But guys, as always, if you want to help support the channel, check out the YouTube memberships link in the description or the Patreon. Share these videos with all your buds. This one, share them with anyone you know doing a carnivore diet, looking to be a little healthier or looking to increase their, their meat intake or protein intake, anything like that. This brand can help with all three of those things. So check those out. Check those out. And as always, I hope you're having a good day and we'll catch you on the next one.